The head of the government parliamentary committee for defense intends to address several issues related to national service during the new session of parliament. They include issues that have attracted recent public interest, for instance, perceptions of preferential treatment. The GPC chairman for defense, Dr. Lim Wee Kiak, told Channel News Asia he has filed a question for next week's parliament sitting on perceived preferential treatment during national service, something highlighted during the recent presidential election. He has asked the defense minister to clear the air on the matter related to President Tony Tan's son, Dr. Patrick Tan's prolonged disruption. There shouldn't be any doubt in Singaporeans' mind as far as MINDEF policy is concerned, there must be fairness, you know, in terms of who get disrupted, who don't get disrupted. You know, as a result, it doesn't cause resentment, it doesn't, it doesn't divide the society. On Dr. Patrick Tan's NS deployment to the Defence Medical Research Institute, Dr. Lim said NS men should be deployed according to their skill sets. In the sense that if he's uh, is he has a certain lab, certain skills that we can use, then no point using him as a cook or using him as a driver or an in, inventory man. Uh, we do have uh, Navy architects, naval architects coming to serve their reservists as their role as naval architects. Because they study in the, in the subject, so when Navy is going to build a new ship, going to review a new ship or something like that, they call back our NS men who are naval architects. You know, so they serve in their role. Dr. Lim also wants MINDEF to review its deferment and disruption policies, especially with many universities having different starting dates for their terms. The GPC will also address concerns that children of new citizens or PRs may choose to give up their citizenship to evade national service after enjoying benefits such as subsidised education in Singapore. There have been some suggestions, you know, whether when you are PR, when you have a child that's going to serve NS, should we ask them to put in a bond? You know, if your child refused to do NS, then you forgo the bond. Dr Lim hopes his fellow MPs would raise more questions during the debate in Parliament. MINDEF has also released its addendum to the President's address. Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen says NS men are the backbone of the Singapore Armed Forces or SAF. So while training must be realistic and effective, their well-being and safety must also be ensured. Dr Ng says the SAF will continue to modernise and upgrade its capabilities. It will also continue to contribute to global security by taking part in multilateral operations. MINDEF notes that a secure environment is crucial for Singapore's peace and progress.